Okay, we've written an interesting limit problem. We've got the limit as x approaches minus infinity of e to the x times natural log cosh of x dx. No, just kidding, no dx on this one. Anyway, maybe the reason I was thinking of a dx is because I actually got this one from an integral I did. At the end, when I was evaluating the bounds, we came to this. I actually just kind of bypassed doing the limit and just put down the answer as zero. You can do that a lot of times, especially when you're doing an integral. Sometimes you can just kind of remember how it works, but I wanted to go through the steps and evaluate this limit. So to get started with this, first I just kind of want to get a, a sense of what happens when we're going to minus infinity. And this first piece is easy, right? Because when you plug minus infinity into the exponent, this first part needs to be zero. Now for this other part, let's just look at the definition of cosh really quick. We can write cosh in terms of exponentials as e to the x plus e to the minus x, all over two. And now we know this first part because we just found it right here, the e to the x part, when you go plug in minus infinity, this piece is going to zero. But then you plug minus infinity in over here, minus times minus is a plus, and this is essentially like e to the infinity, which is going to infinity. So what that's saying is we actually have an indeterminate form here. We have zero times infinity. And so we don't quite know what's happening. We're not sure if this, this could be zero, this could be infinity, this could be five, this could be doesn't exist. This could be a lot of things. So what I wanna do in this is actually use L'Hopital's rule. And what I need for that is to use that, it's always gonna be written in terms of a fraction. And so what I can do is bring the e to the x into the denominator and just write it as e to the minus x. And now I think this is something we can work with. Now, in order to use this, we need it to be one of these two forms here. We already confirmed that this numerator is infinity. We said before this was zero, but when you bring this into the denominator, e to the minus x with, minus in, with x going to minus infinity, this piece now is going to infinity. So this is gonna be this case over here. And so what this allows us to do is take the same limit Right, so we're still going x approaching minus infinity, but then it allows me to take the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. So first for the numerator, taking the derivative, we're gonna have one over cosh x, but then we need chain rule taking the derivative of cosh x, that's gonna give cinch x. And of course we could just look at this as well as tanch of x, or we could write it out like we did earlier in terms of the exponential, which I think we'll do in a minute. Then next, taking the derivative of the denominator, this is just gonna be minus e minus x. Now in the denominator, this is basically the same thing where this was infinity here, now we have the minus sign, so our denominator is going to minus infinity. But to evaluate the numerator, I think I do want that definition. So for tanch of x, you just can remember it as cinch x over cosh x, but this is gonna be e to the x minus e minus x over e to the x plus e minus x. And one thing I can do to make this a little easier to evaluate, I think, what if I just multiply in by e to the x over e to the x? Then when you do that, you have e to the 2x minus 1 over e to the 2x plus 1. So let's just evaluate that separately down here. So we have limit as x approaches minus infinity of e to the 2x minus 1 over e to the 2x plus 1. But now when you evaluate it, you'll notice this first piece, when this is going to minus infinity, this is going to zero. This is going to zero. We're left with minus one over one. And so this limit of tanch as x approaches minus infinity is just minus one. So putting this together, we're gonna to have minus one here in the numerator. And now again, you can't use L'Hopital's rule again because we now don't have an indeterminate form. When you have infinity in the denominator, this means this whole thing is just gonna be going to zero. There you have it, limit problem with L'Hopital's rule. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.